Hey guys, Mr. Young here. Welcome back. We're going to be walking you through lab number 18 today in the Mr. Circuit lab manual. So let's go. First thing we got to do here, guys, is start out with the correct page in the Mr. Circuit lab manual. Lab number 18 is found on page 37 of the manual. And as you can see, it is a crowded circuit. All of these parts that you see in here, we've used before in another lab. So we want to make sure that we can clearly identify what they are and be able to find them or locate them in Tinkercad. So going through the parts list here, you see that we're going to need a C1, which is a disk capacitor. We've used that one before. We need a Q1, a 3904 NPN transistor, a Q2, which is a 3906 PNP transistor, two resistors, both 15K ohm, another resistor at 620K ohm, a speaker, a CDS cell. Now this one's going to be a little bit different in Tinkercad, we're going to have to look for something called a photo resistor. So I'll show you how to get to that when we get to Tinkercad. And then you're going to need your nine volt battery and some wires that go along with the circuit. And of course, don't forget your breadboard. So let's head into Tinkercad. Once in Tinkercad, don't forget you need to be under the circuits section of Tinkercad, and then you want to create a new circuit. Now that the new circuit has started, we want to search for our components, beginning with the breadboard. We're gonna start by bringing in our small breadboard. The next thing I'll do is bring in my transistors because they get put up at the top of the board and they're pretty easy to get out of the way. So I'm gonna search for transistors. You'll see that we have an NPN transistor and down here I have a PNP transistor, a 3906 and a 3904. Let's get those in the board. The Q1 or 3904 NPN transistor is gonna go at the in the very top row five squares into the board. So I wanna put that in my very top row, one, two, three, four, five squares in. My PNP is gonna go in the same top row, but one square to the right from our Q1. So as long as I have a one, one square gap there, these two transistors are in the correct place. So now let's bring in our C1, our disk capacitor. As I type capacitor, you should see that these start to pop up in the menu below. We'll bring in that disk capacitor and set it just above the breadboard. Now, I got to make sure that I have the proper value for my capacitor. Back in the Mr. Circuit Lab manual, it says the C1 should be a 0.01 UF. So as I go back to my Tinkercad, I want to change the value of the capacitance to 0.01 UF. Great. Now I can put it into the board where it's supposed to go. The left leg of my C1 is going to align with the right leg of my Q2. So it's going to go in the square right below the right leg of Q2. The opposite leg is going to go all the way over to the right side of the board. So I'm going to put my first terminal right below the PNP transistor left right side leg. And my second terminal goes right at the top. Now we can go back and find some other components to bring in. Let's bring in our CDS cell. This one was tricky, so I wanna help you guys find that in Tinkercad. In order to find the CDS cell, you first wanna search for something called a photoresistor. So P-H-O-T-O, -O. right there, you'll find that it shows up as photoresistor. Here it is listed right here in our, right below our search bar as the photoresistor. Kinda looks like, uh, a light bulb a little bit, but it's got these squiggly lines on it. The photoresistor doesn't have a value, so it's just gonna be whatever it comes in as, and we wanna make sure that we put it in the right place in the board. So the photoresistor is gonna go all the way over to the left side of the board in the third row up, and it's gonna go just underneath the left leg of Q1. So I wanna make sure I make my connections, terminal two to just under left leg of Q1, and terminal one in the middle of the top row first count. Now we're going to go back and see what other things we can bring in here. We can bring in our battery leads. So we're going to bring in our nine volt battery and we can make these connections as it shows in the lab manual. Negative side of our nine volt battery is going to go in the same row as the left leg of our Q1, one row up from the bottom and our positive lead is gonna go just below the left leg of Q2. So negative to left leg of Q1. Positive, we'll make that one black. Positive to left leg of 
Q2. Now you can actually go up and around these components if it keeps it a little bit cleaner for you. I like to do that. It's just a little bit neater, a little bit cleaner. So I got room for my resistors and stuff to go in the board. So now let's go back and see what else we can put in here. We can put in our resistors. We have two 15K and a 620K resistor. Let's go ahead and add all three to our board right now, and then we'll change their values and put them in place. So there's my three resistors. The first one I'm gonna change to 15K. The second one I'm gonna change to 15K. And the last one I'm gonna change to 620K. Now let's find out where these 15K resistors go. One goes in the far left side of our board, and then it goes in line with the middle leg of our Q1. So let's get this one over here to our left a little bit. It's gonna go in the far left row and then in the middle line with Q1. So that's where our first 15K ohm resistor goes. Our next one's gonna go in the same middle row as Q with Q1 as our first resistor and then all the way over to the right side of C1. So let's bring that down here. I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit here just to make it a little bit cleaner to put into our board. So it goes in the same row as right leg of C1 and then in the same middle row as our other 15K resistor with our Q1. So next I'm gonna put in my 620K ohm resistor. This goes to the right leg of Q1 and then way over to the right leg of C1 as well. So I'm gonna rotate that one a little bit, bring that down here and I can put this in place right side with C1 and in the middle, nope, right leg of Q1. So this is, this is critical that we get these in the right place to start with. Now I've got a jump wire. Don't forget these jump wires, they're easy to miss. So we wanna make sure that we hit those every single time we're going through this. I wanna jump wire from the middle leg of Q2 to the right leg of Q1. So that's just a simple click and click. Okay, it's just a jump wire. All it's doing is just completing a terminal connection between those two components. Now I gotta see, do I have any other jump wires in here? Nope. It looks like the last thing I have to do is put in my speaker. So we're gonna grab that speaker and we're gonna put that in the left leg of Q1 and the right leg of Q2. So let's go find our speaker. There it is. And as I said, left leg of Q1, right leg of Q2. So right leg of Q2 left leg of Q1. This looks like it's complete. Let's give it a test, simulate, and see if we can get the speaker to make any kind of noise for us. There we go, guys, we have a working circuit. We're gonna get a screenshot of this simply by clicking the share button. Hit this little download symbol. You'll see that it says you have a new image that's been saved. Go back to your Google Classroom, open the Assignment for lab number 18. Paste this underneath the section with the instructions for lab number 18 and submit your assignment. That's all we have for lab 18 here, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.